fan of uh, creamy pasta actually. Yeah, so this is just perfect. It's really perfect. Yeah, and I'm also a fan of eggs. So, you know, when this dish came in, I'm like, wow, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy this dish. I like eggs since I was very young. So I've been eating eggs a lot. It's just that when I do bodybuilding, I, I have to eat more eggs because of the protein, but less yolks. Yeah, but I like to have eggs in a lot of my dish. Naslama or even Thai Peng. All this, I'm, I must have egg inside as one of my dish. It's really very good. And there's this, I think there's truffles inside if I'm not. The taste of the lobster really goes really well with the sauce. Actually, I don't count my calories when I eat because because you know because my metabolism is so high, right? So I have to keep doing carbo loading. I try to eat at least three to four meals a day just to keep my weight on. Yeah, so I eat a lot of rice, a lot, uh, a lot of pasta. Two years ago, when I had to act in that girl in Pinafore, for that role, I had to act a 16 to 17 year old when I was 29, right? Yeah. So I purposely had to cut down my weight till I was 60, 60 to 61 kilos. Yeah, so I had to do a lot of non-eating activities. I had to starve myself basically. Now I'm currently 73 kilos <coughs> for my height. I think it's pretty ideal. And That's mostly, what I think. Mostly muscle. Yeah, mostly muscles. My fat level, it's, it's still okay, manageable. Having bigger body mass will look better in clothes. Yeah, but not too big, right? Especially because some people, actually when they, when they put on weight, parts like the faces will, yeah. will bloat first instead of the body. So you really, have, you really have to know your body well before you, you, you know, decide to go on a bodybuilding routine. Yeah, basically I love sashimi. The salmon is like, it's just one of the fish that you can eat every day. Mm -hmm. And it's sweet and it's fat, I mean fatty sometimes, and, but it's really, really good. It's really good, yeah. Another one would be swordfish. I like mekajiki. That's, this, these two raw fish are actually quite nice in, in Japanese food. So when I go to a Japanese restaurant, these are the things that I always order. It looks like a tofu. I haven't tried it before, but from the looks of it, it looks quite quite appetizing, I would say. In fact, it tastes a bit like vanilla. I'm gonna try the dry fruit. Okay. I wonder how they dry this thing. It looks like a cracker. It's sour. I like sour stuff. But it's really quite nice. This is the first time I'm trying an orange which is dehydrated. Yeah. I think this dessert is really easy to eat. In fact, for a, a non-sweet person like me. I mean, I'm sweet in person, but yeah. But I don't have a sweet tooth. Yeah, so I think this is just nice. It's good. Good choice.